Hey, what is up guys? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a new rework station from a company called Yehua. Now, this is the 862D Plus model, and it's a rework station as well as a soldering station. So let's take a look at some of the things that it comes with. Now, first of all, if you do notice the color here, the color is really nice, and they're keeping the overall color scheme all over most of the components here, which I really actually like. It's really pleasing to look at. So let's get started. So first of all, they do provide you with, the, with just four types of heads for the rework station for the hot air gun. And these are not your basic just snap on twist. They do have a screw as well as a nut to keep them in place and they do provide you three sets. So in case if you lose one, you're still good to go. So they do provide us with these four heads here and as well as the rework station, which is connected directly to the board here. However, I wish it was removable. That would have been really nice, but it's not. It's just statically set up inside there. So that's something to take note of, as well as the hot air gun here is running a brushless fan. And what that means is it allows it to continue living for a lot longer than a brushed fan inside. So that's really nice. That, that gives it a little bit more of a longer life here. Now, putting the rework station to the side, let's take a look at the soldering iron here. Now, the soldering iron is also a really nice setup as well. And I forgot to mention that the the wires are silicone so they will be gliding all over the table and not catching and just getting in the way of everything here now if you take a look here it, they've also kept the color scheme which i really really am starting to love here it's looking really nice and they're calling it esd safe now we don't really know that just yet and as you can tell here they do have a nice rubber grip so you have a really good grip while you're soldering which is really nice to see especially if you're soldering for long durations now as you can tell here they do provide you with one single tip here to remove the tip it's just like your basic any other soldering iron which is really nice and these are absolutely replaceable and you can get the tip any kind of tip you want anywhere online and they also provide us with the soldering iron holder here now this is really nice they kept the color scheme as well and they do provide you with even a blue sponge so that's really cool in that perspective all right so let's put these guys to the side and let's take a look at the whole unit itself all right so once the main module is booted here and we wanted to control whether the soldering or the hot air gun we do have two switches to turn on each of them now here i don't know if you guys are going to see that on camera we do have auto mode and manual mode now this is for the hot air gun right here if you have it set to auto mode once you place down the hot air gun it'll automatically cool itself down and shut off but if you had it in manual mode it will stay on so take that into consideration and i recommend you keeping it on auto now let's go ahead and boot up the soldering area right here so now it's currently set to 100 and if we wanted to increase the temperature all we have to do is switch over this knob here and let's see its current maximum temperature which is 480 degrees which is really nice now i don't know if we're going to have an indicator that'll tell us that it's reached that temperature and there we go so it's heating up pretty quickly and really nicely here now if we wanted to control the fan it's the same concept we do have the hot air switch here and we're going to go ahead and click the hot air switch and then we have it set to 100 and it goes all the way up to 480 as well, which is really nice. And we have our fan control right here. Now there's no indicator telling you what you're on, but you can kind of get an idea of where you're at. So as you can tell, it has not booted the hot air gun here. And I'm gonna go ahead and decrease this to around 410 because I don't have any solder on it. All right, so once I remove the rework station from the holder here, it should boot up. As you can tell, that's what it just did here. And let's set it up to around 250 degrees and let's see how fast it'll go up there. Now this is in centigrade and I don't think there's an option to change it, but if you chose the 110 volt option, if you're in the US, I think this would come Fahrenheit, but I'm not 100% sure about that. So that reaches temperature fairly quickly and uh, let's increase the fan speed. The fan speed sounds pretty decent actually that, that sounds like it's pumping a lot of air and I'm just gonna decrease it to around four and I'm gonna place it down see what happens here and as you can tell now something that happened here is it did not increase the airflow and it just kept the airflow as is and turned off the heating element inside and now that popped back to zero I guess so just be careful still don't touch that it'll be pretty hot as well now if we hit it on manual theoretically this thing should just keep it just stays on yeah, it stays on. It keeps the exact fan temperature. I mean, it keeps the exact temperature as well as the fan speed. So it does not reduce the fan speed. Take that into consideration while using this. So I really wished if it did decrease the fan speed, that would have been a lot better in manual mode. So I'm currently going to keep it to auto mode, which is really nice. All right, and now I'm going to use it for the next two to three days and come back and continue the rest of the review. All right, guys, so I have been using it for the past two and a half days, we can say now. I've used it this morning. I'm building the current camera drone, a really big, large 10-inch quad hexacopter to be exact. And uh, I just used this for it. And it, it just performed like any other soldering iron, which is really nice to see. Now, some of the things that I did not know at the current moment in time 
was that this also has auto sleep mode. So if you leave it not moving for a while, I guess it has some kind of uh, accelerometer in here that detects that you haven't moved this in a while. So it'll auto automatically go into sleep mode and drop the temperature. So that's really nice to see. That's a really nice little safe feature. And also on the back side, it does have a fuse. So if anything were to go wrong, it, there's a six amp fuse in the back, which should um, theoretically reduce the risk of any big problems. And another thing what I kind of really didn't like, just or it's not even a really a deal breaker, was I really wish that the uh, back power wire was removable. If you take a look here, you, you can't really remove it. So uh, it's just static inside. So that's really something that um, I would have wished that it's not really a deal breaker again, but I really wished it was. So yeah, and also you do have a power on and off button. So uh, that's also really nice to see here. Now the my current slaughtering station, what I have recently switched to is the Yihua 887D. It's really small. I mean, look at this. It's super, super tiny. And it does have a soldering iron as well as the uh, hot air gun with the normal uh, tip here, as you can tell. So as you can tell, this is the switching tip that I was talking about. You just slide it on and switch it and it locks into place here. Now I have been using this one for the past, I think, uh, week now maybe or a couple days. And uh, it's been flawless. It takes the most minimum amount of space. But the wires do tend to get kind of almost everywhere. So this one, I'm going to give it another week or so. And I'm going to be using these back and forth. And I'll have update videos throughout my channel on the current soldering stations that I'm currently using. Hoping I can get more in and do some more reviews because it's actually pretty fun and pretty interesting to check these out. And um, I really hope this video is useful to someone out there. Overall, it works really great. And obviously, I'll keep making update videos on this. Um, it just works like it's supposed to work. It's a rework station and everything that comes with it absolutely works just fine. And I really love the little safety features that they have installed here. And well, that's concluded for my video guys. So this is gonna include it for my review of the Yihua 862D plus soldering station, two in one rework station. It's just working flawlessly. If you do like these types of knobs, then this is for you. It's really nice and smooth. And um, I didn't notice anything wrong with it and it just worked absolutely phenomenal. So, well, that's it guys. I'll update you later on on the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out guys.